Hello. Uh, what I love about this movement is truth is killing it. Truth is killing Scientology. There's no other formula. There's no other uh, way. You're putting true light, truth, into the minds of the people. You're showing them. And it is destroying Scientology. And I thank everybody out there who is... It's doing a phenomenal job. <clears throat> They're on the front lines. They're doing what they're doing. Using truth as their shield and as their weapon. In whatever form they wish to uh, display that truth. I love it. And as a one who follows Jesus Christ, I, I personally believe that you do have a hedge around you. You have a hedge of protection around you. You just keep on killing it with truth. It makes me so happy. And, you know, I'm slowly getting there. I'm slowly getting there to where... Uh, you know, I think I'll be doing a live stream very soon. And, you know, I have to get into, um, into the, into the mindset of doing these videos more often and uh, contributing in my way. <clears throat> I'm not here to promote Christianity at all. I'm just telling you that I am. And there's many different views of Christianity. Uh, I'll just tell you here in a simple form. I feel Jesus Christ in my heart. And I've seen it being true. And I do read the scriptures. I think that's a supernatural book. That's it. Okay. We're supposed to be loving each other just as you love yourself. True love. Not this manufactured stuff or political love. Or strategic love. Sincerity is the key. That's what I've learned, is that sincerity, true sincerity, is the key. Last night I was watching, uh, I watched quite a few people last night. While I work, I put in my headphones and uh, my little ear pods here. And, um, I'll work away. Uh, it's a pretty physical job. And um, I will listen to whoever is there. I listen to Aaron. He did great. I listen to Nora. She's phenomenal. I love I love you, Nora. You know, my heart, you are fantastic. I'm so happy you are here. So happy you're here. And I do pray for that hedge of protection around you from evil I just wanted to put in a concept that we are fighting an evil and when I say we I mean mainly you guys I have a lot more to do you know what I mean but um, we're fighting evil there's no question about it like it is evil. And there's more evil out there. 
way more evil. Scientology steals souls. It ruins lives. You need to find out. And just look at these, some of these beautiful people who are standing up and exposing the truth on them. I pray that Tom Cruise comes to light. I really do. But if you reject God and God sees your sincerity of rejecting him, um, yeah, he could be like, okay, I'll feed you delusion. You want to be that way? As in, um, doing selfish actions that hurt others, etc. He'll leave you to your own delusions. And he'll leave you to your own uh, way. Honestly, the scriptures really describe the Lord in such great detail that has not been shown uh, in your typical church growing up um, again I'm amazed at the things that I'm finding and I'll share it with you at some point I should have a reference list I also wanted to open the door to others uh, ex-Scientologists or even Scientologists who are Christian or who, are, who do feel the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't judge at all. You have, I have my opinions, but I don't judge what someone's fate is going to be. I love all of you. There's no, um, There's no condemnation of homosexuality for me, not at all. We're meant to love each other. And when you have a sincere love for another person, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. There's a thing I... It's this thing about perversion. And homosexuality is not perversion. It's love. Can perversion be entered into any field of sexual uh, category? Yeah. A lot of heterosexuals are the worst perverts. Okay. Um, What's the word? Child trafficking. Child sex trafficking. Child work trafficking. That, this is perversion. It's perversion of how it's supposed to work. It's evil. So destructive. And that's my viewpoint. So, you could say I'm a very simple, basic Christian where. I don't go to church because I don't trust them and because they just preach the same old stuff over and over. They don't dig. That's why I say just go right to Jesus Christ. Again, you'll hear me talk about Jesus and that's just the way it is. Um, I'll be glad to answer questions about it. Uh, or commune with others who feel just like me. Those who don't like me because I'm Christian, well, we can talk. Or, hey, let it be. You know? Uh, I can clear stuff up with you if you want. <laughs> the 
this community is making me really happy. When I see after this turbulence that we've been going through, when I see the people in this group come together and rise above it, it is, we float to the top. You float to the top. Natalie Webster, you float to the top. There's no holding you down. Thank the Lord. Oh, no, Nora. Phew. Yeah, you're the whipped cream and cherry on top right now. It's, it's beautiful. Thank you for everything you're doing. I can't thank you enough. Aaron. I can just say that you are quite the mighty warrior. You are quite the stable rock in this movement. You are such a key figure. Evil is attacking you. And I certainly believe that you have a hedge of protection around you. Amongst your wits and amongst your own personal wisdom and knowledge. But you see, there's evil all around us, wanting to just flatten us. It's not going to happen. I'm so thankful. I really am. I'm so thankful. So, um, that's all. I just wanted to say those things. I'll be scheduling a live soon. I'm not exactly sure when, but I would love to talk. I would love to answer questions and whatever. Get out of the, uh, get out of the box and into the, the live. You know, I have a lot of stuff, a lot of history and psychology. Um, I originally joined staff right before Golden Age of Tech 1. It was about in like late 95, 96. And uh, that was fucked up. Excuse my language. But that uh, was pretty messed up, man. Staying overnights, like we'd, we'd have our, we'd have our staff time. And then we'd have to watch that Golden Age of Tech video over and over again. How long was it? An hour and a half? Two hours? Maybe longer? And all the staff had to watch it over and over again. Instructions by DM. And we would just be sitting there in the middle of the night, 11 p.m., sometimes midnight, watching this fucking video of this. It's really deceived and rotten individual called David Miscavige. I can tell you, man, he's suffering. Okay? Inside, the guy is far from happy. He's far from at peace. He's not laughing it up somewhere. He's not spending his money or hanging with Tom Cruise at some nightclub. Not today. <clears throat> I'm sure they've had plenty of those times. But, um... Yeah. I right, thank you. It's really hot out here right now. <laughs> you can see the sun is moving in, and I am sweating. The bugs are loud. I'm gonna head inside, and uh, thank you. I 
will be listening to y'all today. And God bless.